So are you ready? It's time to announce iPhotography's 2021 Members Award winners. It's been an absolute crazy year uh, this year for photography in our gallery. We've had something like 25,000 images published to the gallery and we've seen so many aspiring photographers come to the fore, so many photographers starting to establish styles uh, and approaches to the work. It's absolutely amazing. So as you may remember, or you may not, back at the start of December, we announced shortlists for our member awards. There were six Six categories to vote in this year and a number of images and photographers that are listed in those categories. Um, so we had categories like the wildlife of the uh, wildlife image of the year, landscape image, portrait, most creative image of the year, which that was a brand new category, as well as a popular image of the year that was taken from the uh, number one images across our top tens throughout 2021. And then we have our highly coveted photographer of the year. And now I'm happy to say like a news reporter, I've got all the winners down. Our voting closed on the 14th of December, and now we have gone through the votes, verified them, and we've now got our announcement for the winners. But before we get to that, we also wanted to look at the images um, for our 12 days of Christmas competition, because we, again, we had hundreds of images entered for that over a number of different categories. We had 12 categories, and as normal, we pick a great image from each of those categories to form our final shortlist from which we choose the winner. So I'm gonna go through and show you the category winners from each of our 12 days themes. So the winner of our day one winter landscapes was Ankuta Briavan. Day two was decorations, and this is by Lila Wantush Milkowska. Day three, morning mist by Anne Luther Gandhi. Day four, winter woolies by Anne Tickner. Day five, evergreen from Lucia Kasilova. Day six, winter wildlife from Rhonda Tuff. Day seven was gatherings by Christina Cox. Day eight, Frozen by Ros May. Day nine was Winter Shopping by Peter Dyson. Day 10, Winter Selfie from Wend Burrows. Day 11 was Festive Food from Catherine Lawson. Day 12, Winter Bokeh from Jane Williams. And from those 12 images we've shortlisted, the eye photography choosers had decided on Anne Luther Gandhi as our 12 days of Christmas competition winner. It was a beautiful image, the soft morning mist, just caressing that lake and the lone fisherman. It was an absolutely wonderful image. So really, really well done there, and Absolutely fantastic. So now we're gonna move on to our 2021 Members Awards. So again, this was a fiercely fought competition across all categories. We had thousands of entries and literally it was down to the last few hours of voting to help separate a couple of winners in a number of different categories. So we're gonna start off with our newest category, which was Creative Image of the Year. And we're really happy to announce the winner of that category was Julia Briggs. Fantastic work, Julia, really, really well done. That is an absolutely outstanding image and really, really well put together. So our next category was Wildlife Image of the Year, and this was an epic battle, some really, really great shots. And the person that came out top was Kevin Pamphlian. So really, really well done for this absolutely stunning wildlife image, Kevin. You've done an absolutely brilliant job there, really, really nice. Next up, we have Portrait Image of the Year. Again, there was an absolutely fantastic array of images that we'd selected from there. We could have had a short list of around about 50, but we did have to cut it down. And the winning image is from Philippa Griffiths, this beautiful newborn image, something that she specializes in and a lot of her work. If you do get an opportunity to check out Philippa Griffiths, really, really do so in the gallery because it's an absolute treat for her portrait. So congratulations there, Philippa. You've done a beautiful, beautiful job. Now we're looking at landscape image of the year. This is one that a lot of people cast their eyes to because I know a lot of people, especially in eye photography, do love their landscape photography. And the winning image this year for 2021 is from James Palmer. This beautiful astro landscape image caught people's attention and was a firm favorite pretty much from the off. So really, really well done there, James. You've done something absolutely spectacular and it's been rewarded. So really well done. 
And now for our popular image of the year. So these are a collection of images that are taken from the number one spots across our top tens of the month uh, throughout the year. Now, this was a great competition because the images were so varied. They weren't in a particular category of sorts. We had landscapes, we had portraits, we had loads of different things. And ultimately the winning image of the year is from Randy Wayman. This spectacular lightning shot across the American Midwest was an image that had stood out in the gallery for a long, long time over the whole year, but it really has been recognized again brilliantly. So well done, Randy, for picking up the most popular image of the year. And now we're on to our final category. This is Photographer of the Year. This is the one that a lot of people want to win. And it's not easy in any way, shape or form because it's not just one shot that we're judging across. We're looking at a number of images to display that photographer's consistency, their style, their technical ability, and also their creativity. So we had a shortlist this year. Again, the shortlist could have been even bigger and bigger and bigger, but it would have made voting even harder. It literally got down to the final hours we had at one point I think it was around about two to three votes that were separating top three photographers. So it really came down to the last couple of hours before we got a clear winner. But again, that was only by a handful of votes. And we're really, really happy to announce that the photographer of the year for 2021 is Deborah McPhail. So well done again, Deborah. This is actually the second time you are retaining your title. It's an, a massive achievement. I don't know if we've ever had that before of somebody retaining the Photographer of the Year title, but it was a very hotly contested battle. So you've done extremely well against some other amazing photographers who I'm sure will again uh, be there, no doubt, in 2022. So really, really well done. You've done an absolute fantastic job this year with all your photography, as have all the nominees across all the categories. It's been brilliant. Um, if you want to actually have a look a bit more clearly and a bit more closely at some of these images, um, if you're watching this image, uh, watching this video on social media, I should say, there'll be a link in this post so you can actually go and read the blog and actually have a look at those images a bit more closely for all the categories that we've gone through. But in the meantime, we just want to say from iPhotography, thank you very, very much for being a member. Thank you so much for voting if you have as well. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful new year, and we'll see you in 2022. Bye-bye for now.